a warm welcome to smell bell verbal cephalo cervical surgical information ent head and neck informative videos today we are going to have an information in short about the differences between the keratosis obturans keratosis obturans and primary auditory canal cholestatoma primary auditory canal cholestatoma Keratosis obturans is just an abnormal, abnormal migration of the epithelium in the external auditory canal. Whereas primary, this is plus particular external auditory canal cholestatoma is the one where the bone is migrating into the bone. Keratosis has got severe pain as a presenting complaint, whereas auditory canal cholestatoma has got severe otorrhea pain is very much minimal keratosis is more common in the younger people whereas primary acquired cholestatoma is more common in a bit older people keratosis obturans can be a unilateral condition most commonly whereas primary acquired this one auditory canal cholestatoma is more commonly a bilateral condition in keratosis there can be an enlargement an enlargement of the external auditory canal and enlargement of the external auditory canal whereas in this acquired external auditory canal primary cholestatoma there can be a deposit of lot of keratin in a random pattern and uh, there is a lot of osteitis like in any cholestatoma a lot of osteitis in any cholestatoma in keratosis there can be a ballooning out of the external auditory canal the canal has become wide 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 and wide a lot of pain uh, whereas in acquired this primary external auditory canal cholestatoma the tympanic membrane may be quite normal but leading to some amount of cholestatoma that can present in keratosis there can be hyperemia and granulations that can be present whereas in primary this cholestatoma of the external auditory canal can have sequestration it is a sequestrum of the bone inside the bone which can be as a bone keratosis has to be treated by the removal of the particular keratin plug whereas this cholestatoma you have to undergo the patient has to undergo a surgery wherein a canal wall up procedure can be done to remove the cholecystoma sometimes whereas in keratosis there need not be a big surgery this can be removed only just as a plug for the removal of the pain there need to be a canal plasty to be done sometimes in this keratosis obturans where in enlarged canal here the canal plasty may not need not be done as it can be cured by means of a uh, canal wall up procedure keratosis differential diagnosis is impacted wax and it can be a carcinoma so for this a biopsy need to be done sometimes in the case of primary acquired like this uh, auditory canal cholestatoma cholestatoma wherein you have to think of necrotizing what it is externa benign sequestrum and then a neoplastic disease that is a, a rare possibility which has to be ruled out by means of a biopsy Keratosis can be of two types, maybe because of inflammatory type, which may be because of viral disease, and second one is silent type, which is more severe. Viral disease regresses after the viral treatment and removal of the keratosis. The silent type might recur once again, so you have to be careful. And keratosis obturans is associated with bronchitis and sinusitis. Bronchitis and sinusitis, which are common associations. Primary auditory canal cholestatoma. can be 1 in 1000 and keratosis obturans can be 5 in 1000 a bit more common but both these conditions are a bit rare as far as the incidence is concerned one more entity called as keratosis tympanicum wherein the tympanic membrane can be coated with this keratin layer which has to be removed and there can be a bit of hearing loss in there because of that and uh, 
CT scan might be required for both the conditions, especially this primary, this primary external artery canal polycytoma, which can be diagnosed by that about that and keratosis also sometimes. In keratosis, there can be an onion peel pattern of the keratin, and in primary external artery canal polycytoma, there is a random bone deposition, onion pattern and random bone deposition. By this way, you can differentiate between keratosis obturans and primary external artery canal polycytoma. Thank you for watching the difference between keratosis obturans and primary external artery canal polycytoma. And this is Dr. Smell Bell Verbal cephalo cervical surgical videos from india signing off thank you very much if you like this ent head and neck videos kindly share and subscribe easy way of understanding ent and easy way of digesting ent thank you very much